Bagheri, what are you doing? Take two. <laughs> We're going to look at the uh, specific uh, gametogenesis in each sex. On this side you have spermatogenesis, on this side you have oogenesis. Let's look at spermatogenesis first. They can ask you questions about the type of cells that we will look at, or also the different phases. Sometimes even some uh, important parts, the part of a cell, the part of a, of, a, of a certain body or so forth. So here you have the primary, primary spermatocyte, a diploid cell, in prophase one. Now the primary spermatocyte in metaphase one, you see how they're aligning along the equator on mm -hmm. um, the spindles here, on the, the meiotic spindles. Then this primary spermatocyte then goes into anaphase one. See how the chromosomes are separated. And then finally, when the cell completely divides, complete in meiosis one, it will form a secondary spermatocyte, and here's the other secondary spermatocyte. Now some of you may be wondering, why does this one look different than that one? This one is just to show you is more advanced than this one. So this one is still now beginning meiosis two and is in metaphase two, while the other one is more advanced in anaphase two. See how the chromosomes are split? In any event, both of these will divide and each one will produce two spermatids, meaning a total of four altogether, four daughter cells called the spermatids. The spermatids now are almost complete, but they need to grow a tail, a tail called the flagella. Okay? They grow the tail in a maturation process called spermiogenesis. So all of this is spermatogenesis, but this last maturation process is called spermiogenesis. Well, the spermatids, where the spermatids mature into spermatozoa. Now the spermatozoa will swim and look for the egg to fertilize. Uh, in this column, we have oogenesis. Okay. First, you start with the primary oocyte. This looks like it might be prophase one. Then the primary oocyte undergoes meiosis one. Here you can see that it's in metaphase one, anaphase one. And then when the pr primary oocyte completes meiosis one, it will produce a secondary oocyte with a polar body, with one polar body. Then the secondary oocyte will undergo meiosis two, okay, and will be arrested in metaphase two until it is fertilized. Now, if it is fertilized, it will continue with meiosis two. Therefore, this is a fertilized secondary oocyte. How do you know this is fertilized? Because you can see that the steps here are way past metaphase. This is an anaphase two. Anaphase two. And not only that, you can count that you have one, two, three polar bodies now. This here is going to form the nucleus of this secondary oocyte. When it completes meiosis two, it becomes the ovum. So this is the ovum with the nucleus, with the nucleus, and the nucleus of the sperm will combine with the nucleus of the ovum to form a large cell that is diploid called the zygote. The zygote is the first cell of every individual. So you all started out as a diploid zygote cell. Okay, like this. So here's ovum and this is zygote. Other than that... Uh, Professor, could you tell us what questions they'll ask on a test perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> they can ask questions either on any of the cell structures like what is this? This is a spermatid. What is this? This is an ovum. What are these? These are polar bodies. How about this one or this one? This is a primary oocyte. So forth. They can also ask you questions about the different phases. 
phases, like what phase is this? This is metaphase one. This is anaphase two. Okay? Here you have anaf anaphase two also. And prophase one. So, and then they can also additionally ask you about some parts, like for instance, uh, these are the spindles, right? The spindles, uh, the flagella, the nuclei. Other than that, there's not much else they can ask you. The chromosomes. Thank you, Professor Gere. Cut. <laughs>